Hello dearest all, my name is Ladan Universal and I warmly welcome you to this talk Breaking Away from the Illusion of the Matrix. As we entered the month of January 2021 and as the new earth gave way to the golden age of Aquarius, the transmission of energies in the entire globe intensified. I am sure you remember this. I'm sure you've been experiencing this. This is due to the requirements of beingness in the new earth, the fifth dimensional state of beingness. As I have mentioned in my previous talks, the fifth dimensional state of beingness cannot sustain any dense lower energies that result in slavement. Slavement to the system which has conditioned humanity to the consciousness of lack and fear. The energies of the fifth dimension of the new earth requires the ability of self-healing. This means recognizing that there is a blockage and having the understanding of how to release this blockage with love. This means understanding, acknowledging that even the blockage served a purpose. And with this notion, remembering the current situation that has created a sense of global control. The coronavirus and the implications of the so-called solution of the vaccine. We know that every soul has a unique blueprint with a divine purpose. This divine purpose is to evolve through experiencing all aspects of creation, which brings in learning and evolvement, leading to enlightenment and return back to source, finally, eventually. When we look at our current global situation from the higher perspective, we can see that the coronavirus is breaking down the old paradigm as the lower density is now surfacing so that they can be once again experienced before these aspects of creation can be fully understood and then finally they can be released. Many people are once again experiencing this as fear and disillusion regarding their health and the health of their loved ones, their jobs, lack of sense of security, instability in their finances, separation and more. I said that we are here to experience blockages and release them, not become attached to them. Presently, majority of humanity has one foot in the old earth paradigm, which is an illusion of the matrix, an attachment to the lower density. And the other foot in the new earth paradigm, the 5D, uh, which is the connection to our originality from the infinite consciousness. However, many awakened ones, light workers, healers, meditators, way showers, are feeling the intensity of these lower densities, which is impacting on them as disconnection to their soul body, disconnection to their soul path, and disconnection to their soul matrix. 
many are feeling trapped, where they no longer have the desire to meditate, heal, stay positive, or try to stay in the present moment. They feel that they are constantly being dragged back into the olden, dark ages. This was initially seen as a period of metamorphosis, but this is no longer the case. We know that without the soul-body connection, whether it's a whole connection or part connection, human advancement will come to a halt and we will return as the human consciousness back to the old paradigm. The sovereignty, all of the functions for a sovereign human being will either become distorted or non-existent. And the reason for that is because the soul is the bridge to our highest sensory and it's often called our highest sensory body. It is through our soul that we're able to experience higher emotional feelings. These higher emotional feelings are true love, compassion, caring, understanding, allowance, acceptance. When the soul body is fully or partly connected with souls, its sensory abilities will keep up our connection to our heart. Yes, you've guessed it, where we can deeply feel the love of God as a unifying force. It is the connection to the heart center that enables human consciousness to advance and ignite the higher heart chakra, where unconditional love is experienced. So now there is a clarion call to you, to me, to all of the light workers, to all of the way showers, to all of the meditators. We must keep the flame of God ignited within our heart. What is absolutely crucial is for all of us to remember who we are, what we have come to earth to do and what we must do in order to assist in sustaining the new earth's energy. The new earth's energy became anchored in December. 21st of December. However, she needs our help to ensure that her new energy will continue to be sustained. It is absolutely crucial that as a sovereign being, as a master being of light, we acknowledge Remember and trust that as God, we do not need to fear illness. As in the eyes of God, there are no illnesses, no fear of death. As the entry and exit to and from this lifetime has already been planned by our soul, right down to the very finest intricacies. Trust that you are infinite. Understand, accept and trust that 
the universe is an abundant source of all good. Despite what the media say. Understand, accept and trust that whatever you need and wish will be provided for you. So let yourself do what you do best, which is holding the light of God ignited within your heart. Through meditation, sending positive energy, sustaining pure intentions of thoughts, of actions, of words, and creating daily opportunities where you are in a state of gratitude. When we are in the state of gratitude, we are in the now moment, in the presence of our true cosmic God. In the now moment, there is no room for fear, deception, doubt or manipulation only absolute truth of our real identity. And that real identity is our sovereignty. In the now moment, there is only room for appreciation of what we have. So let us together as one heart, one mind, one God, break through the illusion of the matrix where lower mind no longer can dominate. Let us together lift the veil of ignorance and reveal the truth of God force. We must hold the light of God within us. We must ensure that we are connected to our I am presence. This is what the higher beings are asking us to do. We are receiving much help from many Archangelic beings of the light, star beings, emissaries of the light, even the planets are in great movement, enabling us to ascend, to raise our consciousness, to better our life. And all we need to do is ensure that we meditate. It is meditation that keeps us connected to our heart center and allows our soul to stay connected with source. So, beloved ones, I now invite you to listen to the meditation that enables you, all of your loved ones, your community and the entire world to embrace the light of God. And I suggest, if it is your heart calling, to join us in this meditation for at least the next seven days. I look forward to sharing the meditation with you, beloved ones. Until we meet again, I send you my deepest love, my beautiful brothers and sisters. Namaste.